Hey guys, it's Cece. Welcome back. Today I get to leave school and I'm going on a like cultural immersion trip. A bunch of English teachers are going. My co-teacher is gonna come too, so it should be really fun. I know we're gonna like make some food and probably just do some cultural immersion things. I don't know. Let's get going. Cheese bread. Okay, second tag. <laughs> We're just out here at this cute farm, okay. about to go make some milk bread. <laughs> so excited. I'm a cow, bitch. I'm a cow. I'm not a cat. I don't say meow. Cause bitch, I'm a cow. Moo. <laughs> oh no, he's like, oh, oh he said, no. He said, want something for me? I want some for me. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just watch you don't get any clover. Oh. Ooh. back there you need a carrot don't you oh yeah hunty good girl oh you dropped it oh my god oh my god I mean this is the highlight of their day and also the highlight of my day <gasps> There's a spa here, so as you can tell by my wet hair, I just got done in the spa. It was nude, so that was an adventure, but whatever. When in Korea, it was great. <laughs> um, it's actually right up there, you can see it. <laughs> but I mean, obviously there's glass windows and stuff, but. And I had left my wallet in the place where we had dinner, so I just went and grabbed it, but 
it is so peaceful out here it is so tranquil you can see so many stars i just saw cassiopeia oh cassiopeia for the first time just by like recognizing it so i felt pretty proud of myself for that one but yeah i'm just vibing out here thought i would just pop on and say hello we made milk bread which was really fun i haven't tried it yet because i'm so full from dinner but um i'll try it tomorrow it's like pumpkin stuff and then we had dinner which was delicious and i've met some fun people so that's cool and then yeah i just did the spa and now i'm just chilling out here enjoying the peace and quiet no city noises like just crickets and the occasional like cow moo and um the stars so. the big dipper it's just really peaceful and nice and i'm really happy that we're we get the opportunity to do this the co-teacher was telling me that this is like a really popular place in korea i guess and you have to book it out like three months in advance so it's pretty cool that we get to be here i will probably head inside soon and honestly just go to bed because after the spa i'm just feeling so cleansed tomorrow we have breakfast and then we're gonna be making sausage which we'll see i mean i'm still gonna do it why not for the experience i've never like made sausage i don't know it we're like processing the meat i don't know we'll see how this goes i mean i'm gonna do it because i'm all about trying new things try things once if i don't like it i never have to make meat again this farm is really cool so it makes all of these different like olive oils and spreads and it's like a milk farm essentially so they're just really they have a bunch of cows as you saw earlier and um they just make a lot of like homemade products and everything's like really nicely priced they had wine salt which i might buy just because i'm curious about what the heck wine salt is um but they had a bunch of really nice olive oils and which i'm so tempted to buy that's my mother in me speaking <laughs> it was so fun i love it i'm just so happy and at peace and really grateful that we get to do this it's really beautiful and um just learning more about korea and all the great things it has to offer so yeah i'm just very happy and very grateful <laughs> up kind of late actually but it's like eight so it's really not that late i just got ready and now i'm just gonna go walk around the farm again this morning it's really beautiful out today and i'm excited for the day it's gonna be really fun i wish we stayed longer at this cute little farm because it's so cute i love it <laughs>
Chickens and a couple of asses. Hey guys, future CC here. I just wanted to wrap up this video by saying a last few things about the farm. I just wanted to mention that all the products on that farm obviously were made on the farm by the animals on the farm and the people who work at the farm. So it's really amazing to be that close to the food that you're eating and even be a part of the process of making it. I did end up actually eating the meat that we made. She said that there was no preservatives in it so it had to be eaten like that day or the next day for it to be the best and the most fresh. It was delicious and I loved it and I just think it's really cool to know where your food is coming from and be able to be a part of that process and really farm to table, baby. We love it. And I actually ended up getting a few other products too. I got this Gouda cheese, mm -hmm. made a little cheese board, so good. And I got the wine salt and the red pepper olive oil which has been really delicious to cook with. It's so flavorful. And the wine salt, honestly, it's just like really good salt. <laughs> and yeah, I just had a great time. And if you are in Korea, I highly recommend checking out the Sagwa Farm Village. I keep calling it Sagwa. It is not Sagwa. <laughs> It is Sangha. <laughs> Sangha Farm Village. Yeah, check it out. It's pretty fun. They have some other things you can make. So you can make the milk bread, the sausage, and I think they have a kimchi making class too. So go check it out. It's super fun. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week. Bye.